Hello and welcome once more to Equips Lab, the only channel in the whole of YouTube that won't tell you to replace your TV suspension system for a Bilstein coilover. <laughs> Why I'm saying that? Because today you're gonna finally begin to repair the SLS system on my Mercedes-Benz W116 and I want to show <clears throat> how this can be done. Actually, I don't know if it's going to work because because I have to fabricate even the tubes and hoses by myself. Actually, hoses I'm just going to order, but the tubes I'm going to fabricate. Follow me. So, as you can see here, uh, this is the, the pressure accumulator for the suspension. Uh, this keeps the system pressurized and also absorbs impact from, from suspension. Uh, and, and make it flows the hydraulic fluid directly to the shock absorber. This here is the valve that controls the system. It works like a kitchen tap, you know. As more the suspension lowers down because of weight of the car, it lets more fluid to more fluid to flow. And this way it equilibrates the pressure the car makes on the on the shock absorber with the pressure from with the pressure from the from the pump there in the engine. The equilibrium of these two pressures, the gravity pressure and the and the, the, the hydraulic pump pressure makes the car to be stable. And as I told you, the, shock, the absorbers here, the accumulators, they, they make absorption of the road easier because if you have two fluids equilibrating themselves, there won't be any margin for bumps and, and holes and, and potholes and so on. So this is an extra absor absorption of impact. It's consisted of a sphere that has a diaphragm in the middle and one side will be uh, hydrogen pressurized, a pressurized hydrogen, and the other will be the fluid. It's a very high pressure system, and we can test if this is okay. This is probably the the uh, weak link of these systems, the first part to fla to fail, because it works a lot. Of course, the fluid all the time he is rising up and down the pressure, and there is just a diaphragm that with time you blow up uh, so one way we have to test this if this is okay is to disconnect this hose here that goes to the shock absorber and introduce inside of this some kind of some kind of pencil or other thing that's blunt not sharp or pointy to to perforate the diaphragm if the stuff if the thing you introduce inside goes only to the half of this, in depth, uh, it means the diaphragm is still in place and this is okay. If you can introduce the something there and it goes to the end of this sphere, it means the diaphragm is no over there, it's not there anymore. So, probably this is bad. I, s I don't have new ones yet. I plan to test them today and we find out to get if you need to re replace this or not. Uh, and also for today I plan to remove the, the pipings for me to make another because someone cut them in the middle where they go to the pump on the engine. So I have to remove them and make some kind of a joint uh, and saw them and prepare some joint and and fold the, the piping for, for the rest of the car. Uh, there is the other side accumulator. The, the other sphere, this is one for each wheel. If your car is a 6.9, the very good one, 116, you're gonna have four or five spheres. This one has just a here suspension, a hydraulic system. As you can see here, the differential is sweeping a little. I can't see any oil marks on the floor, to be honest, but it's wet. I'll have to check out later. And the rest is to be fine. Ah, there is a part missing here that controls the valve. It attaches the here the car structure. In this case, the stabilizer bar to the uh, to the valve. 
and it moves up and down and control the flow and controls the flows to the spheres and shock absorber. I have this part already that I'm going to install very soon. some oil yeah definitely not the correct one because the correct oil should be green and but I think this oil that's spilling for from there tells the story of this system how it how it died probably how was actually how it was murdered probably someone put the wrong oil there and begin to destroy everything uh, the the right oil, the original ones, hard expensive, especially here in South America. But unfortunately, someone just chose to destroy the suspension instead of putting the right oil. It's amazing how it still has oil here. Who knows how long this is without working and without running. It's a window to the history. <laughs> so first, let me measure how much to be I have to fabricate. So roughly one meter and ten centimeters. So let's try to make the tubings here, the new tubings I bought and uh, Use the tool to fold them to make curves, and I found out. I found out that there, there is the passage for the tubes. So I must make this curve somehow there and pass them up here. This angle seems to me is 45 degrees, loosely. Just looking by the eye. So we fold a little and test it. Uh, it's, it needs to be covered more. Seems to be fine now. Welcome once more to Equips Lab, and then we have one more day here of folding and built the SLS system on my W116. Uh, to restore this system, I had to buy some new tools, and now I have everything I needed. That includes more pipings, something to finish, something to cut, something to bend and connections, also something to make marks. So if everything goes all right, I hope to end this tubing chapter. And then next time, and next up it will be on the other chapter, of course, another part of this video, you'll be rebuilding of the pump, have the hoses ordered, installing the pump and the hoses, check if the valve is working, and finally find the shock absorbers, and this is this is being rather hard, I can't find new ones, just use it or refurbish it. It will be my last option, but if I have no choice, I will buy used or refurbish it. But until there, I'm trying, I'm keeping on trying to find a new one. Without further ado, let's, stop, let, let's start the working. And I have to cut this piece too, but instead of cutting under the car with the electric cutter, I prefer to cut here, manually, with this because I think it's safer. The other one wasn't possible because I had already used the one connection and I didn't want to lose it. Let's go. Easy breezy. So, until now, it looks like this. As you might see here, one of the tubes is already in place, the other I'm gonna put to install just when I'm 
have the hoses done and for that I need the pump done first for me to take the right measurements now I have to make the final curvature and then build the second part it's gonna go behind this reel here and to the other side where is the reservoir is located now with this underside removed I just need to find a way to route these tubings And here I put some uh, A-holes to avoid contact metal and metal because I noticed that it's too cramped area there and it's for some prote extra protection. So it's finished. I think it's even looking good. See? it's. I think it's perfectly routed. Probably one missing hole here. Ah, it probably should be here. But seems it already has been repaired for because of rust. So it will be one last, no problem there. So up here, it's finally come its way to the reservoir. And on the other side, it's looking like this. It's looking pretty nice, I think, right? For the first time I do this, not so bad. Definitely not. Now let's hope there is no leakings. And this is this tubing is for the return of pressure, the low pressure, uh, the high pressure one that goes to the shocks. It's the thicker one. For for that, I installed that just when I finished the pump. It comes just to here, from here to the pump. It comes routing from here with a hose down there, and then there is another hose from the reservoir to feed the pump. I'm pretty tired, it was, was not so easy and uh, to figure out these routes for the hoses and tubings it was pretty hard, I couldn't find this anywhere on the internet I asked for help in the W116 forums, the w116.org I have pictures of anyone who had this system, this SLS system for the W116 but no one answered me, seems no one knows how it is the 6.9 is a completely different system and I think it's even more common in America than in here but the 4.5 with SLS seems to be not so easy to find I also put asked some help in the Facebook group too uh, but I had, I had no answer too so I took thousands I, I actually I'm exaggerating, not thousands but I searched for many old pictures on the internet like those black and white from factory and tried to find out, look in the pictures carefully, how this wrote how these hoses and piping should be routed and uh, I think I came to this con conclusion and solution I will put these pictures uh, on the link for these pictures on my on the video description too if you want to check and I think that's it part 2 of this saga will be ref refurbishing the hydro pump so thank you for watching and see you next time